welcome back to my channel and welcome to another sustainable and ethical video. As many of you know, recently I have been making a real concerted effort to try and be more sustainable and eco-friendly in what I buy personally and spend my money on and what I contribute to, but also what I promote on my channel and on my Instagram. As I've spoken about in a previous video, which I will link up above, as an influencer or creator, I don't want to be someone who is encouraging people just to constantly consume things that they don't need. Things like fast fashion and disposable products are really, really negatively impacting on the planet. And obviously we want to be working towards saving the planet and creating a wonderful environment for ourselves and for the animals rather than contributing to destroying it. So in that frame of mind, I thought I would do a video today about some changes that I've made in my life to try and make less of an impact on a day-to-day -day basis. As I've said before, this is a new journey for me. I'm by no means perfect. I really am a newbie, so a lot of you are probably much further along the track than me, but I thought I would share these things with you in case I can help someone else and also to get the conversation going so you guys could talk to me in the comments or send me messages if you have some fantastic ideas of your own, which I'm sure you do. You guys always give me just as much uh, in terms of contribution and ideas as uh, I give back to you, if not way more, because there's so many more of you than there are of me. So thank you in advance and thank you for everything that you've offered me in the past and let's get into this video. So I'm gonna start with an obvious one and that is a keep cup. Mine actually came for free from an event I did. It was an IT event, I think, and they were giving out free, really, really good quality mugs. It's just got branding on it, but. I don't care, I'm not gonna go and buy another one and leave this one to go to waste. So I took advantage of the freebie and now I have an excellent keep cup that I can use to put obviously hot drinks in, but it does also carry soups and things really well as well. So that always comes in my bag with me. And that brings me to my number two suggestion, which is a reusable straw and cutlery set. Mine even has chopsticks in it because something that I know I end up doing a lot is popping particularly to Whole Foods at my lunch break. And I mean, in some ways it's not so bad because the Whole Foods takeaway box is cardboard and their takeaway cutlery is wood. But even so, that's still contributing and not all recycling ends up going in the recycling bin, particularly when you put it in the public recycling bins, like things get mixed up and fall out of the bin when they're too full etc so I just try not to contribute to that by taking my own cutlery with me. The third thing I've been trying to do is change out things in the household that are not eco-friendly because of the ingredients so for example dishwashing liquid, clothes washing liquid, um, soaps etc. I've been using Planet uh, animal friendly and body friendly body wash and shampoo for a while. However, I wanted to change my body wash over to a soap because it lasts longer and there is less packaging. So whilst in France, I grabbed this one. Here's the tip I have for you guys. I went to the bio, which is the organic section, and the soaps there, number one, were liquid in packaging and number two were nine euro for a tiny bottle. Then I went over to the normal section and just looked at the ingredients and found that a lot of the normal packaging has now been changing over to be more eco-friendly. And because it's not kind of touted as being vegan and organic, it's not got that huge markup on it. Some companies are marketing themselves as vegan and eco-friendly and they're really putting it out there and it's total nonsense. If you actually read the label on the back, often it has little asterisks on it. In teeny weeny writing somewhere, it will explain that, well, we're not technically vegan or we're not technically eco-friendly, but we're trying or we will be in five years or we meet all these requirements but these ones here like we don't test on animals in Europe but actually we sell our products in China where testing on animals is mandatory not our problem so I really like to read labels because things are not always as they appear in big bold letters on the front of packages Apart from the soap, I've changed over to eCover for my dishwashing liquid and my clothes washing liquid. The great thing about this brand is that if you have like a Planet Organic or some sort of natural or health food supermarket near you, eCover does provide refillable liquids. You just take the bottle from last time back with you, fill it on up and they just charge you for the refill. It's cheaper and it means that you're not throwing away packaging for no reason, which I think is really, really cool. We had a Planet Organic open near us recently and they don't have this. And so I went up and asked 
are you guys going to get it in? I've been to other Planet Organics that have it and they were like, we're getting onto this because everyone has been asking. So guys, if your local supermarket or health food store doesn't have a product that you want, tell them, particularly if it's somewhere like Planet Organic that is about zero waste. That's what their big thing is. It's what's all over their marketing. So if you have a way for them to be more true to their ethos, they're going to be really into it. So don't be afraid to go and tell them what you want and share your own knowledge. The other thing I want to start changing over is my makeup stuff. This can be hard because there's a lot of elements of disposable products in beauty. But I recently got these little reusable kind of towelette style makeup wipes. You just use them. I wash them in between with soap and tap water and reuse them even though they're kind of a bit stained from my lipstick. They're fine, they go the distance, and then about once a week I'll chuck them in the washing machine in the little bag it comes in and give them a good solid wash. These are fantastic. I don't see any reason why everyone shouldn't have these. It's so much cheaper. I think this cost me something like eight euros to buy the whole pack of these, and I spend two, sorry, eight pounds. I'm, I'm in France and I'm speaking in euros now. Eight pounds for the whole pack, as opposed to two pounds every time I buy a pack of reusable ones, and I go through them really often. So. These are going to pay themselves off really, really quickly, and I can feel good about the fact that I'm not throwing these in the bin all the time. I will say, I had read on the internet that you could use them to remove nail polish. I tried that with one of the pads and washed it immediately as per the instructions on the internet, and that pad is forever destroyed and has nail polish all over it. Please help me with nail polish removal and an eco-friendly option for that. Thanks guys. <laughs> the last thing I want to share with you guys is something that I'm super excited about because anything that revolves around food is very close to my heart. So this is something called Oddbox here in the UK where they collect surplus fruit and vegetables or unwanted fruit and veggies from farmers that they couldn't sell to shops because they were the wrong shape, the wrong color, there was too many of them, it's a new experimental batch and no one wants to buy them yet or they don't have enough of them, they didn't grow enough to make a suitable set to the supermarkets. So this company picks up all the excess and then distributes them out into these boxes to households so that they don't go in the bin. I've never received anything that was off or old. It all seems super great quality. I mean, yes, they're weird shapes and colors, but who cares? They look more natural. They look like something you grew in your backyard, which I personally really like. They're veggies with personality. But what I really like is that it's largely seasonal and the products are a real mix, so instead of you just having the same old stuff every week, it gives you variety. It's really important to eat the rainbow and get lots of different fruits and veggies so you get lots of different nutrients into your diet, and this is the perfect way to do it. What's really cool too is that one week you'll get some pretty ordinary fruits and veggies, and then the next week there'll be these really exotic things in there, but the price is always the same. It's very cheap. In fact, I calculated it on our first box, and we would have spent almost double if we'd bought it from Sainsbury's and had it delivered. It's an absolute bargain. You're getting beautiful fresh fruit and veggies and a really cool variety, and it doesn't come with tons of plastic packaging. Very occasionally like a lettuce or something will come in plastic packaging but everything else is literally just put in the box and they deliver it overnight so that you wake up in the morning with this beautiful fresh box of fruit and veg. I literally can't tell you anymore how great I think this is. I really love this. I have no regrets. Super cool, super easy, highly recommend. Anyway guys, that is the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and click that little notification bell so you know my videos come out. Follow me on my Instagram. Come and join us on the Vintage Tips and Tricks group on Facebook. We would love to have you. And I will see you in next week's video. Bye.